Hello and welcome to today's video. If you are planning to use shipping containers to build your dream house, this video brings to you the top 5 strategies on how to prevent condensation in shipping container homes and buildings. Stay tuned as we go through one by one in detail. Good, welcome back. So, what is condensation? Condensation can be explained as a phenomena caused by combination of internal and external temperature differentials together with high humidity levels reaching to what is known as dew point, which leads to formation of water drops inside a shipping container, what is also known as container rain. Condensation is most prevalent on the roof and the top six inches of the interior side walls of a shipping container. If condensation is not controlled, it can damage the goods stored inside a container, or in a shipping container home, condensation can cause corrosion and mold formation, which can become a health hazard if not controlled. The following are the top five strategies on how to prevent condensation in shipping container homes, highlighting the pros and cons of each method. At number five, dehumidifiers. Dehumidification equipment is used to extract water formed from condensation process. Dehumidifiers are very cheap and easily available equipment in most shops. In addition, it is an easy option to set up in a domestic environment. Dehumidifiers help soak in the moisture in air from the interior of your container home by turning it into water. This need to empty out the humidifier every so often to prevent recirculation. This method is very effective for container homes in cold climates or in places that experience long winter seasons. Also, opening of the access door to the house allows the entry of humid air, particularly in those cold seasons, as a crucial contributing factor to accelerated condensation process. You are encouraged to go for equipment that has automatic on and off features that utilize sensors to detect moisture levels in your house. For this process to work effectively, the equipment must be permanently connected to external power source. Ongoing power costs can make the humidifiers less cost effective and more expensive in the longer term. To remedy this, consider using a renewable source of energy. Number four, insulation. Insulation helps to keep the internal temperatures of the shipping container relatively stable and warmer than the dew point, thus reducing condensation. It also creates a barrier between the container wall and the air inside the container house whose temperature can drop faster causing moisture to condense on the surface of your container wall. Since steel is a good conductor of heat, to live in a shipping container home, you will need good design and effective insulation. The type of insulation to use in your shipping container house will be determined by the climate of your home location. In cold climates, you need proper insulation to keep the home warm and to prevent condensation, which can corrode the container and also in enhance mold formation. Apart from its cost limitations, closed cell spray foam insulation has got excellent moisture barrier properties and good R values effective for cold climates. However, in a hot climate, keep the heat away from your container as much as possible. Any insulation with proper passive design strategy would be a good 
effective insulation material. Feel free to check out our previous video on the pros and cons of the top 8 insulation and temperature control strategies for shipping container homes. Number 3. Ventilation. Ventilation is the simplest and the cost effective way of preventing condensation. The more air you have circulating within your container house, the smaller the difference between inside and outside temperature, which in turn will reduce or prevent condensation. Ventilation prevents condensation by equalizing the exterior and interior air temperature in your shipping container home. This solution might, however, not be the best for moist and humid climates as it will bring in moist air causing an increase in moisture content within the interior environment. The type of vents to use on your container can either be the basic standard shipping container vents or larger louver vents or even DIY budget vents. If you are building a shipping container house, using vents, windows, fans and louvers can help to improve air circulation in your metal structure and eventually help prevent condensation. Ventilation can also be a very effective way to prevent condensation in the tropical climate. However, it may not be very effective in very cold climates because of high humidity levels. Number two, desiccants. In simpler terms, desiccants are materials which absorb moisture out of air. When excess moisture is absorbed from the air, the dew point, that is, the temperature at which moisture turns into liquid, is reduced. This in turn reduces condensation inside your shipping container. Desiccants come in different forms. They could be in form of poles installed on container walls, bags placed on the container floor, or special paint applied to the interior roof and walls of your shipping containers. For shipping container homes, graphotherm paint provides the most effective way to control condensation using desiccants. Graphotherm is an anti-condensation coating that slows down the problem of dripping roofs in shipping containers. This anti-condensation coating is typically applied to the container roof and the top 6 inches of the side walls using spray applicators. Graphotherm is relatively cheap, very effective and long-lasting, most preferred method in the industry as a standard condensation treatment method. However, it can be very challenging to work with if not properly applied and often takes a few days to set properly. Last but not least at number one is kitty litter. While it may seem strange to use, kitty litter or cut litter is an excellent way to absorb any moisture in a house or domestic environment. It works in a similar way to other commercial desiccants. The litter can be found in most stores and is a cheap solution that can save you money in the long run. If your shipping container home is experiencing condensation challenges, then this can be the most cost-effective way of controlling moisture levels in your shipping container house. What you need to do is to just place some kitty litter in a cupboard and it will absorb all the possible moisture within your interior environment of your house and then dispose it off once the entire mixture is soaked. You can also open a bag or two of the kitty litter inside your shipping container house and place them at strategic points, preferably at the entrances or at the exits or at the window openings of your shipping container house for effective absorption of moisture. It is not a perfect solution as you will also need to monitor the situation and occasionally replace the bags of kitty litter 
but it is inexpensive and can be found in nearly any store, which makes it the most cost-effective way of controlling condensation. The major downside with this method is that it can be messy and also it requires regular replacement. So, did you find our analysis exhaustive and informative enough to help you manage moisture in your shipping container home? If you feel we've left out anything, kindly let us know by posting in the comments below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for our weekly videos on amazing design ideas from shipping containers. Thank you for your time and see you in the next video.